You're so cute. <laughs> nice boots, bro. You like them? They make you go faster? <laughs> I don't know if cowboy boots are what you're supposed to run in, though. Those are more for doing cowboy things, right? <laughs> you think, Odin? He says, I wish I had some cowboy boots, too. Rowan, that doesn't look like the proper protective equipment for your feet. I'm fine. What are you doing, Mr. Roo? Huh? Have you been beating up on the other rooster? We're going to have to dispatch one of them. Can't have two. He's up there, so I'm worried that he's been being picked on. I saw them fighting yesterday. They've done knocked over their water. Hello, Mrs. Turkey. Hi, baby girl. Yeah, so he's got enough girls, but they can't have two of them if they're going to fight. All this elderberry behind me yesterday was full of big umbrals of nearly ripe, dark red elderberries. I never get them before the birds, but the birds had not found this one yet. And I was so excited to finally be able to harvest my own elderberry and I was gonna be picking them this week. Due to the low moisture level in our pasture, our grounding rod stopped working and the goats got out. They went right, right through the gate, knocked it down and they ate all of the elderberries that were ripe. Mm, I hope nobody has a belly ache today, but on a plus side, um, they probably won't have any colds or flus this year. We had a huge pecan limb, basically the size of a tree, it's a leader, fall, and the goats are thoroughly enjoying it. It was kind of scary when it fell. We were in the house and we heard crack, 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 crash. And looked out the window to see this. And the goats running. They ran all the way up to the top of the fence line over there. And I said, Ryan, Ryan, go make sure it didn't get any of them. But it didn't. Luckily, they heard the crack, 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 crack before it crashed but they have been thoroughly enjoying this extra food. So I don't know why they decided to escape on me. It looks like all the girls are in heat right now too. Fancy girl was just trying to mount Fancy 2. Fancy 2's body condition looks good. She'll be bred soon, most likely. And uh, Fancy girl won't be. Her body condition has not come up yet. So we are going to keep fattening her up and have a later kidding into the spring. Ruby's tail is a wagon. Uh, yeah. Right now, if I bred, we'd have January kids. I'd like to push it to February if possible. <laughs> what are you barking at? What is it? We threw the bucks a branch, but they didn't eat very much of it. Why don't the bucks eat as much pecan as the does? Mm -hmm. What you trying to do there, Liam? Put my body on. Oh. It's so hard. Hey. What are you doing, Hoden? Oh, that's right. You went to sleep. Some helper you are. Sleepy, sweet baby. Otis wants to play with the boys. You want to play, huh? Maybe we'll come out after lunch and run around out there with you, okay? He wanted the gloves so that he could pick up a bug. A soldier fly. A soldier fly? Uh-huh. What if it stung him? Wait, what? Soldier, soldier flies can do that? No. Oh, what do soldier flies do, though? That's Are they a good bug or a bad bug? Good, because they... They eat regular house flies. They also eat poo poo. They do. They eat poo poo and other compost material. They are very good composters. Yep, compost now. 
Look at these little fluff nuggets. They're so cute. Getting big fast. Looks like we have one rooster for possible, maybe more. That one keeps standing up like a rooster. It's hard to tell at this age, but I've raised chicks and chickens for long enough that usually I can guess pretty good. Um, Do you see your dad bowl? Yeah. You see him over there? The boys have a tadpole. It's got this little landing pad so that if it starts to grow legs, we'll see it and it'll have a way to get out. We just wanted to watch it, huh? Well, there's actually more of them. Whoa, that's there's more than one? one? Mm hmm Cool. I see, I see one in the water at the block, and, and then once they grow their legs, then they can jump like, and get their easy legs. Those tadpoles came out of this. We use this to catch rainwater to water things. And uh, the boys just wanted to be able to watch it more closely. And there is something big living in here because I hear it jump every morning. I wonder if it's the bullfrog that Liam caught a while back. This goldenrod is still not ready to bloom, which is really unusual. We usually have blooms by now. It's been much later this year. Not what did you say? This bug is making my hand not cold. Ah, for your chore popsicle? Yeah. Awesome. I was really hoping the goldenrod would be blooming now so I wouldn't have to feed the bees. But I might very well have to. Because they need them. They need those goldenrod and this is the time of year that they need extra feeding. This right here, though, has kind of made it hard for me to check hives lately. So, I uh, probably need to get Ryan to go in there again and check it out. Funny, because Ryan always says, oh, I don't know anything about bees. I don't, I just look in there and tell you what I see, and I don't know what I'm seeing. And But he does, he knows. He does really good with his hive inspections. He just doesn't have confidence built up yet so we'll get him there but he sure likes working with the bees now compared to when I first got them he didn't want to work with them at all so now he's eager to and that's a good thing as homesteaders we often take on new and interesting obstacles and activities that we've never done before and it's always fun to see how people will adapt and adjust to the new things and I think he's adapted and adjusted very well. <laughs>